everyone. I am in Jaffa, to the Aviv. I'm gonna use this gimbal, which is very new to me. Ta-da! Welcome to the vlog. Let me show you guys Jaffa, to the Aviv. It is such a beautiful place. It's such a beautiful day. I'm actually filming a video for Israel today, which uh, will come out soon. I'll put it on my channel and the Israel Today channel. But I just wanted to show you guys woo, where I am. Sorry, it will take me a bit of the time to get used to this gimbal, but it's a start. I'm here with the girls. They got their coffee in this beautiful place with dessert. Guys, we're going to head to Shuka Pishpashim. Abby here is my faithful um, camera woman for today, and we're just all having fun. I've been to Shuka Pishpashim, I think, at least once, and I forgot how cool it is. So I'm gonna show you guys around, and you can see just how pretty this place is. Opa, tagit shalom! Opa! They have a part of the shuk that is like closed, they have one that's like partially closed, like open. And then they have a part that's like on the road. And you can get everything at Shulke Pishpishim. Like absolutely anything that you can think of, you can get here. Remember to bargain with them because everything that you see does not cost as much as you are seeing it for. So make sure that you get things for a bargain, haggle with them, bring the price down. See, look at this. Look at all of it. Look how pretty. Let's go. So much here and you can just walk around here for hours I love this okay we're gonna go to the Imperial Hotel which has a pop-up exhibition which I think is so cool we are very excited for it oh there's a vibe there's a vibe we're in a in a creepy it's not closing oh there we go it's always scary you're like are we going to get stuck we made it we are going to meet Joanna when we get there it's a four minute walk let's go as you know that I am a sucker for tall buildings. I always wonder what type of person I would be if I grew up in Tel Aviv because you have the beach here. If I came to a conclusion that I would be tan, <laughs> you guys know I am not tan. I'm not a tan person. I only burn. I, I think I would be much more chill. I think I'd have a more cool, cool girl vibe. I'd probably wear much different clothes. There it is. So, now you're so I found this place online on a story on Instagram and I saw just one little tiny snippet and I'm like, I need to come to this place. On the regular, the Imperial Hotel is just a regular hotel, but for a few weeks out of the year, they have 57 artists that turn it into a wonderland. It's so cool. And I saw me coming back to life. They use visual arts and sounds and graffiti and street art and video art and animation. It's just so freaking cool. It was 37 different rooms designed by 50 different artists. Anyways, I just thought it was so cool. Guys, a lot of these uh, rooms are 
are disturbing. So I don't know if you want to bring kids here. They have to be sort of mature to deal with it. Some of them are quirky, some of them are slightly disturbing, some of them are very much like, uh, I don't know, like trying to show, like give a message. But either way, you will leave here entertained. It's four stories, and then you go all the way to the top, and then you walk down each story to see all of the rooms. And mind you, there are 37 rooms. I'm starting to break out from the grave. See, I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better without you inside It's time to be someone I want to recognize Like I said, they just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> the artist. I mean, it's really cool. You really are like inside of the artist's head. They really bring you into the room. This is a, a picnic room, I guess. I think this is like a book one. There's books on the floor. There's pages on the walls. The whole thing is books. There are some dark ones here that I'm not willing to show you because it just gives me the creeps. Did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Funny, you come out of there feeling sort of like, uh, like where was I, in the hood? I said, what did I just see? I fully recommend that. That was a lot of fun. Do you guys want to go to the beach? Yeah. I knew one day we'll come back around. The future is now. Guys, I used to live in Texas and so I used to eat a lot of Tex-Mex and I miss it. So when in Tel Aviv you find a Mexican restaurant, we don't have a lot of them in Jerusalem. If you come during their happy hour and you buy a meal and a margarita, after that you get bottomless margaritas. I only had one because I was driving and the food is so yummy and filling. We just had Mexicana. How was it? Did we like it? It was good. It was good? It was great. Guys, Mexicana, you can see behind me, Mexicana. We're gonna walk around, maybe find some dessert, maybe not. We'll see what the night has for us. It is so, so chill. And I know that I'm like right on the beach right now, but I'm just saying, Tel Aviv has such a different vibe and it probably just has to be the fact that there are much less religious people here. I really do think that water makes a huge difference, a huge difference like psychologically on people's psyches. It just makes them feel so much more calm. Ain't that, ain't that the truth, Abby? The truth. Okay. So much more. So much more calm. I've considered living in Tel Aviv, but I think the humidity will probably get in the way of that that dream. When it's humid here, it's like humid. This vlog has been so scattered. Okay, guys, huddle around, huddle around. We're ending this vlog. 
with all of my friends. All my friends. <laughs> okay, guys, we love you. If you are new here, then feel free to subscribe. And if you're not, then welcome back. Comment down below what you think about Tel Aviv, and I will see you guys in a vlog very, very soon. <laughs>